everyone, Happy New Year! This is my first video for this year and I was really looking forward to come back to you and finally post the first video for this year 2022. I was really planning a kind of uh, surprise video for today and uh, I was preparing something uh, very, very cool. Today's video, I'm going to introduce you a very special brand. This is Schuko. Schuko is a German brand with a great heritage. They started to produce toys in the 19. 10, so in 1912, and the first model car, what they built, it was in 1936, and that was actually this very iconic silver arrow. And what is very important about them, that they are manufacturing by hand. So they building the models by hand, they all handmade, and I think it's really amazing. So the quality of the models must be must be absolutely outstanding and I got really the honor to receive a very amazing Porsche. The box is already really really promising. What I like that you can already see what you're going to find inside. You can see here the pictures and the car itself opened so it's telling you already that the parts of the car are all openable and extremely detailed. So, when I'm opening up the box, the first thing that is totally just uh, comes into my mind that it's uh, the shade and, and the shine of the paint is just completely realistic, um, absolutely perfect. And uh, what I can see here immediately, it's um, a tiny special tool, this, uh, this tiny hook. And I think, it's my personal opinion here, uh, maybe this is the tool that will help you to open up the doors and uh, the parts that are openable. And it's, uh, I think it's very, very nice that you don't need to do, with, uh, do this with your, with your fingers. I'm having many times problem uh, to, for example, opening the doors with these tiny handles. Also in the former video, if you remember, I was a little bit like struggling. So this is really handy. Few words about the car itself. Um, so this particular model, this 934 RSR, this is a race version of the 911 Turbo, which is the 930. Um, and you know, don't get confused with the numbers at Porsche. And uh, for me, sometimes it's it's very often it's too much nine and too much numbers, too much variations. So this is RSR Rennsport Rennwagen. So behind these initials, these three words: race, sport, race car. This beautiful blue shade called, I also love the name because it's called Monaco Blue. Uh, what you need to know also about this is that this particular model never been produced in metallic colors whatsoever. Uh, but the most famous livery was uh, a Jägermeister one and the other one is this William, you know, with this uh, pastel green. So they were the most iconic uh, liveries on the car. Uh, but I'm very happy that I'm having here now it is in this beautiful shade because you can also see the shape of the car much better. What is very important on the body of the car is this um, sort of extension over the wheel arches. Uh, you can see the on original body was extended on the side, so they welded this uh, plastic element, so the whole body just got wider. And uh, this really an iconic look for this car. And um, here in the model, um, it's very nicely presented as well with this uh, tiny little screws and you can see the shape itself how it's how it's extended at the rear and also of course in the front what was also a new feature uh, at Porsche that time that uh, they included 
this uh, air intakes in the front so you can see here basically we can say that it's a, it's a kind of a lip at the front they got also this uh, a plastic uh, extensions with these air intakes and I just cannot wait to open up the car uh, maybe I starting with the engine immediately I think for this I don't need the, my special tool we can immediately just look inside into this really detailed beautiful boxer engine it's just like a squeezed tinier version of the original engine literally there's all the tiny cables are there all parts of the engine and the filters everything is just perfectly included in a tiny version and what was also a new feature in the time you can see this hole in there on the bonnet so this made tanking much more easier so that meant you don't need to open uh, up any kind of um, things or the hood so they solved the problem here that they just uh, made a hole over the bonnet so you can fill up the car and you save so much time meanwhile racing and in this case this hole on the bonnet helps me to also open it up and what we can see underneath the hood is just as well a really detailed sort of trunk and you can see here the oil tank and uh, all kind of cables also here is for the charging wow look also under the car you have everything like on a real car all the all the engine uh, elements how it's how it should be every little string literally really really cool also at the wheels you can see the brake calipers from inside the wheels are turning as well everything everything is moving i like that they also presented this car with this original racing imsa wheels with this uh, golden shade so it's um, absolutely um, original now i really need this uh, tiny tool here so when i'm just opening the door there's no passenger seat of course and then you can see also this tiny little key hanging there <laughs> so you can just start the car and go well the tiny buttons and uh, also the the shifter everything is there they also took care about the um, the wind screen wipers and why shuko cars are also very uh, special for me because they build up from metal of course they included uh, plastic parts as well but the core of the whole concept to build in metal and this also makes the, the quality uh, of the model much more higher the price point uh, it's around 100 euros um, but I would say it's definitely worth it for this quality I think the price point is pretty reasonable in my opinion it's just really a scaled down version of a real car and if you're holding this car in your hand you somehow also holding um, a little piece of racing history in your hand and I think it's uh, really amazing so thank you again for Shuko sending me these models it was really a pleasure for me to take a look and uh, just having it it's clearly the most detailed and the highest quality model car what i ever hold in my hand i hope you like this today's video guys please leave a comment below how did you like shuko uh, how do you like this porsche and uh, would be really nice to know your uh, opinion about this please Make sure that you subscribe on the channel and also please follow me on Instagram on the Girls Loves Cars. And as I'm always saying, I'm going to come back very soon. And until then, take care. Bye.